Hello and welcome back to Globe Sweeper Hex Puzzler. Today I think we're gonna have a few easier levels. I mean, I say easier, but compared to some of the other levels, uh, I've been practicing up until Diamond, and uh, boy, that that level is probably gonna need its own video. I would I would imagine it's overall not that bad, but there are some very tricky parts to it. Uh, today. I'm probably gonna skip dodecahedron for a bit, haven't practiced it, and we're gonna do star power, and I would imagine we can fit in knotted and bilateral as well, because none of these levels are too complicated or too lengthy, but we'll see, let's get into it with star power. So not too much going on with this level, it's just area clues and cluster clues. So let's start by looking at this four area. In this area we need two tiles for this four. I mean for this too, but in the four area as well. And then in these three tiles we also need two tiles. And none of those tiles overlap, so we will have two here and two here, making four, which means these two tiles can't be marked. And then we just get these tiles normally, just solve these. I shouldn't need to explain just basic tile solving. So there we go, up until that point. Now let's look at this five here. We have one, two, three, and then four and five, so we need to mark both of these tiles. Now we can look at this four, which now also has four, so this tile can't be marked. This four needs all of these tiles marked, which in turn now completes this five cluster, which means none of the tiles connected to this cluster can be marked or it would become a six cluster instead. So all of the connecting tiles can be removed. And now we can go like either way, let's go this way for now. Just mark these, this 6 has 3 and 6, so these two tiles can't be marked. This 2 is now done, the 4 here needs these tiles, and again, basic, whoops, basic tile solving shouldn't be a big problem. Until that point, uh, now we can look at this 5 here, which has 2, 3, and then 4 and 5, so both of these have to be marked, which now gave us the third tile for this 3, so this tile can't be marked. Now the two here is already done, this four here, the one is done, and this four here. And this eight cluster now has four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once again, disconnect it from all other tiles. Solve tiles normally. Until that point. Uh, and here as well, this one is done. And the three, like so. Now we can look at this 5, which has 3, 4, and 5, so this tile can't be marked. This 2 is done, that 2 is done, and there we go. Now here this 3 has 3 tiles as well, so these 2 tiles can't be marked. And this 2 needs these tiles, which now gave us the second tile for this 2, and the 5 here, and now we can't do anything more here. So now we need to go back quite a bit. Uh, until right here, this five, which has one, two, three, and needs two more tiles, and that's all we have available. That in turn now gives us all four tiles in this four cluster, which means all of the connecting tiles can be removed. This four needs these two tiles. Uh, here we can't say much right now. So let's move on back all the way to the very, very start of the, uh, the puzzle, right? Or no? This was the very start of the puzzle. Yeah, here we go. So... Just solve these tiles normally. There we go. The six has four, five, and six, so these three tiles can't be marked. There we go. The six now has uh, four, five, and six tiles, so these tiles are disconnected. This three needs two more. This four needs all of these. And now this seven has seven tiles, so these two are disconnected. The six here has three and six, so these tiles are removed. Like so. And this eight has four, five, six, seven, and eight, so this tile is removed. And here we can't do anything, but right here we have a nine with three, four, five, six, and three more tiles, so they all have to be marked. Uh, now... Oh, yeah, this this too. I missed this. This too is already done. 
There we go, and the 7 here has 2, 5, 6, and 7, so this tile is removed. And the 4 here needs these tiles. And now this 8 has 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, so disconnect it from all other tiles. The 2 here is done, this 2 is done, and this 3 needs these 2 tiles. So there we go. Not really a very difficult level at all compared to some of the other ones we've done now, so that's that. Now let's skip past Dodecahedron and go to Knotted. So this is just a cluster and knot level. No other mechanics than that. And it's not overall not that bad. I think there were uh, one or two moments that might be a bit tricky. So to start, this four cluster has one tile. We have to go this way for two and then here for three. And now a thing we've seen in previous levels, but in case you're new to those types of levels, then now the four cluster needs one of these two tiles. It will use either this tile or this tile. Because of that, this tile that is connected to both of them has to be removed. If we were to mark this tile, there is no longer any way to complete the four cluster without connecting it up to another tile, which would be then a five cluster. So this tile you can already remove. Now we get a four here. And because we know we only use one tile here, this, there will be at most one here, and then for the four we need two, three, and four, so we can mark all of these tiles. Because of that, this tile no longer can be marked, or it would connect up this four with this ten, so we can remove this tile. And now this tile is marked for the four, and for this four cluster. Now, here we have a not four tile, with three tiles marked, we only have one more tile, so if we mark this tile, then it would be a 4, which doesn't work, so we have to remove it. And then solve these tiles normally. Here we have a not 2, which means we can't mark this tile, or we give this one 2. So that's removed. Here we have the same situation again. A 4 cluster with 3 tiles. One of these 2 tiles will be marked, which means this tile cannot be marked. And here we have a not 2. We will get one tile, and not more, in these 2. Which means for this 2, we can't mark this tile, or it will get 1 and 2. So this tile has to be removed. And then we solve these normally. Here, not 1. We have 1, so we can't leave it as only 1. We have to add in at least one more tile, and there's only one more to give this one 2. And we get that, and now once again we get the same situation, now with a 5 cluster, with 4 tiles, we need one of these two, therefore not this tile. And now here, we know we need one of these two tiles, which will complete the 1, so these two tiles can't be marked. Then we get the 3 here. A not 2 means we can't mark this tile, or we give it 2 tiles. The 1 here is done. Once again a not 2, which means we can't mark this tile. Let's just continue on in this direction, we could solve this as well. This is like the one tricky moment, tricky area in this game, uh, not this game, in this uh, level. But let's leave that for a little bit. Just solve these. Now here we have a not 4 cluster, which means it can be any number of tiles except 4. And right now we have 4 tiles, which means we have to add at least one more tile. And the only way to do that is using this tile. Because we now added that tile, we look at this not 3, which now has 2 tiles, and cannot add this tile or it would get 3 tiles. So this has to be removed, which now has a 1 that's completed, so we disconnect everything, and that turned out to be just a 5 cluster. The not 1 here has 1 tile, so we have to add 1 more to uh, satisfy it, but this not 2 now has 1 tile, so we can't add 1 more or we give it 2. Now this 6 cluster here has 1, 2, 3, we have to go right here for 4 at least, which now makes this not 2 have 2, and that doesn't work, we have to add at least one more, so we have to add in this tile as well. Because of that we now get the same situation again, we have 5 tiles here, this 6 cluster will need one of these 2 tiles, which means this tile that is connected to both of them can't be marked, and we can remove it. Once again giving us a 1, so these tiles can't be marked. Here we go. This not 1 has 1, so that doesn't work. We have to add in this tile as well. This not 2 now has 2, which means that doesn't work. We have to add in one more. And now once again, we have a 3 cluster with 2 tiles. It needs one of these 2 tiles and not this tile. 
And like we saw in the beginning, we now have four that can at most have one tile here and then needs two, three, and four. Because of that, we can now unmark this tile or we'd connect up these two cluster tiles. And now this four cluster has three tiles. We can't mark this tile in the center or we connect it up to this tile, giving it five in total. So that has to be removed. And now this three has two tiles and it will get one more tile out of these two because of the four cluster. This four cluster will be completed using either this tile or this tile. So that will complete the three and these two tiles cannot be marked. Now we get this tile for the two, which completes the four cluster. And then we get this tile for the, the three and the two here. And now here we have a not one cluster. We can have as many as as you want tiles, but you can't have one. And since we have one, that means we have to add in this next tile. Because of that, we now can't use this tile. I mean, theoretically, a not one and a four cluster could be connected. But if we do connect this up, then this four cluster would get six tiles. So that doesn't work. We have to disconnect this tile. And then we get this, this tile for the three here. Now we just have the uh, final, well not final area, but this pretty rough area with a five and seven. So to begin, this five has two tiles. We have to go at least here for three. So there we go. And then looking at the seven here, we have one. We have to go two and three. Now, regardless of whether we add or remove this tile, if we were to add this tile, we get four. We still have to mark this tile. It's not possible to not mark this tile because we need more for the seven. So this one you can ignore for now, but just keep count of it, account for it, that if we have four tiles, then we will get five here. Now is the tricky part. So here, this five can only continue using these two tiles. And then after it does that, it cannot use this tile because we can't connect up the seven and the five. So what would happen if this tile were to be removed or in other words, you can think of it just like, since we can't use this tile, it's as if this tile is, is removed and it will be removed. You can also just think about it that way. But because we can't use this tile for the five, if the five goes here, it will have four tiles and then it has to go here for the fifth tile. If it doesn't use this tile, then it still has to go here and then use one of these two. So it's not possible to remove this tile. We have to mark this tile because of that. We can now remove this tile, which again, you could have figured out already, because if we were to uh, mark this tile, it would connect up to the seven. And then both of these two tiles would have been removed, which would have given only three for the five. But I don't know, maybe I'm just overcomplicating at this point. But yeah, this tile can now, now no longer be uh, marked because it would connect up to five and seven. That gives us a four here. And now uh, we look at the seven again, which has four tiles, maybe five. Regardless, it has to go on this way to get six minimum. And then now we again can't connect up the five and seven. So this tile has to be removed. That now gives us this tile for the four, which now completes this five cluster. So this tile can't be marked. And now once again, we look at the seven here, which has five tiles, maybe six. And regardless, it will need one more tile here for maybe six, maybe seven. And that completes this three here. This not two has one tile. We can't add this tile or it gives it two. So that's removed. This not zero has only one possible option and we can't remove it or it gets a zero. So this has to be marked. This two is now done. And now we get yet another kind of tricky part. So the seven here has six tiles, maybe seven or maybe seven. Meanwhile, this not two cannot have two, but it could have one. So what would happen if this tile has one? If we don't extend this not two tile at all, if we were to remove this tile, that means for this four, we have to mark these two tiles, right? And when we do that, when we mark these two tiles, we have now added three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So it's not possible to remove this tile to comply with this not two we have to mark this tile. Because we mark this tile, we now have two tiles in this not two cluster, which also doesn't work. So we have to continue on with at least one more tile. And that now completes this four, 
cutting off the seven, which means we have six tiles here and have to add in this final seventh tile. This two is now done. And just solve basic tiles here until that point. This not one tile has one tile, so we have to add in one more. And then this not two tile has two tiles, so we have to add in one more right there. So this not two cluster is getting pretty long. Now this tile, again in theory a not two cluster and a ten cluster can be in the same cluster, but if we were to mark this tile in between them, this ten would have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that doesn't work for the ten. We can't use this tile, we have to disconnect it. And now we get this tile for the three here. And now, once again, a little bit of a tricky thing. We have to think about this 10 cluster in this final area. So we already know the 10 and the, the not 2 cluster can't connect up together, which means this tile can't be used for the 10. The 10 only has these tiles and potentially this area here to work with. What would happen if the 10 does not use this already pre-made area? In other words, what would happen if we remove this tile for the two and mark this tile instead? If we remove this tile, then the 10 will have three, four, and I mean, we can already mark this one because the 10 has to go here, right? So that's just safe to mark right away. It has four tiles, and then it would have five and six, seven and eight, and then it can't connect up here, and this tile would be removed, so it couldn't be completed. So this tile cannot be removed, it has to be marked, which now gets us the two here completed, and then the two here needs this tile marked. Now the 10 is already completed with 10 tiles, so this tile has to be removed. And the two here is already done, and the not one here means we can't mark this tile, we have to remove it or we give this one a one. So there we go, bit of a trickier level than star power, but not too too bad, I feel like I kind of explain some of those parts poorly, but I hope you could follow along anyway. And yeah, I think we have time, so let's do bilateral as well. Well, I messed that one up, so let's uh, do a retake here. I don't know, that's gonna be an awkward cut, but this level has line clues, which means press the X button on your keyboard just to mark all of them at once, and then we can unmark them as we complete the lines just to keep track of which ones are completed and which ones are not. But this level is divided into two halves, so you can do them in any order, they don't interact in any way, but let's start here where the game put us off at the start. So this area of three will have three tiles in these five tiles. All of those five tiles are included in this seven area, so in this shared area we will have three tiles for this area clue, and then for the seven we'll have three, and then we need four, five, six, and seven. So all of these tiles have to be marked, and then we'll have three tiles here. Now we can look at this two on the side, which now has two tiles already, so all of these tiles are removed. This tile needs to be marked for the two, and then we can go back here, mark this tile for the one, but also just the three only has three remaining, so all of these have to be marked. Now let's go on here. This four has one tile, and then only three more tiles, so we have to mark two, three, and four. That gives this two two tiles here, so none of these tiles can be marked. This one already has one, just solve these tiles normally up until that point. This two here only has two tiles and no uh, reactive tiles already marked, so both of these have to be marked. Now we can look at this five, yep, this five has one tile and only four more tiles, so all of these have to be marked. Uh, I don't think it's this one quite yet, though I mean we can do this already, but let's do the simpler thing. So right here, the four area already has four, so these three tiles can't be marked. This one is done, and the zero. These two ones need one each. This area clue now has one, and can't have this tile. Uh, now, let's go back to where we were over here with the four. So right here, this four has three tiles, and needs one more out of these two tiles. Meanwhile, this four also has three tiles, and needs one more out of these three tiles. But because this four will need one of these two, that will in turn complete this four area as well, which means this tile can't be marked and we can remove it. That now gives us a two, 
which gives us the fourth tile for these two area clues, so this tile can't be marked. Now this six here has five tiles already, so this final one has to be marked for the final tile. Uh, this eight, I don't think it's anything yet. This six has... Yeah, we can do stuff there. I think there's something easier to do. Yeah, okay, here we can look at the six instead. This six has two, four, and needs five and six out of these three tiles. But if we look at this three, we have two tiles already here and can only have one more tile here. So in this shared area here, we can at most have one. And for the six, we have two, four, and then we need to mark five and have one tile here for the three and the six. So this tile has to be marked and one tile will be marked here. That will complete the three with the two tiles here, one tile here. So this tile can't be marked and has to be removed. Now this, uh, yeah, we can look at this three and the six. So this six has two, four, five, and then needs one of these two tiles. This three has two tiles and needs one of these two tiles because the six needs one of them. So this tile and this tile cannot be marked. That gives us a two here, which now gives us the final tile for the six here, and this final tile for the uh, for everything, really. So that's the first half done. Now we move over to this side of things. And to start here, uh, I, I'm sure you can start in other ways. Maybe you can, I don't know. But the way I found, or the easiest way, is to just look at this two area here and this four line. So in this area, we can only have two tiles marked all in all. In this line, we need four tiles marked and we have one, two, three, four, and five. But out of these three tiles, we can only use two tiles for this two area clue. So for the four, we will have two tiles here, and then we have to mark three and four. Because of that, we have two in this line of three, which means the two will be completed and these tiles can't be marked. And now we can just solve these tiles normally for as long as we can. Now this line is done, so let's click it and unmark it. And now we look at this line here. We have two tiles already in this three line. And then down here, we need one more tile out of these two tiles. On the side here, we have a four with three tiles already marked. And we know we need one more tile here for the three line, which will complete this four area clue, which means none of these other tiles can be marked. That now gives us a two here, letting us know this tile has to be marked. And that completes this three line, so we can unmark that. This two also needs this tile. And this zero is done, so there we go. Uh, now at this point, we can look at this four line. We have three tiles here. We need one more out of these three tiles. And if we look at this five area right here, we have one, two, three tiles here, and then we have to mark four and five. Uh, now, now we can look at this line here because we got this tile. So this three line has two tiles already marked and we need one more out of all of these five tiles here. But if we look at this area clue here, we have two tiles for this four and we need two more. But we can only use one of these four tiles for this three line, which means we have to use this final tile for the third tile for the four and then one tile here. Because we need one tile here, that means the three will be completed and this tile can't be marked. That gives us a three here that we can mark. Now completing this four line, so this tile has to be removed, and that's gone. And now this line has three tiles and can't have this one marked, which gives us a one here. So we know one of these two tiles will be marked, which will complete the three and the four, so this tile can't be marked. And that gives us a one here, so we can mark that and remove that. And there we go. Now we're done with all of the uh, line clues. And now we just look at the uh, outer perimeter, and you can do that in several places, I think. But right here, let's look at this eight. We have three, four, five, and then only three more. So we have to mark six, seven, and eight. Because we did that, we now got one tile here for this two area, which now has two tiles, and we can unmark these three. This one needs this tile, and we 
can't do more here right away, but let's skip ahead and look at this 6 here, which has 3 tiles, and then once again needs 4, 5, and 6. And once again, that gave, gave us a, a second tile for this 2 area here, completing that so none of these tiles can be marked. That now gives us this tile for the 1, and that in turn completes this 4 area, so these 2 tiles are removed. Now we move on over here. Uh, yeah, right here we have two tiles, three tiles, and then we need four and five. And then over... Yeah, that now gave us this tile. So for this two area, we get two tiles already marked, and none of these tiles can be marked. The zero lets us remove this one, and finally this one lets us mark this tile. So there we go. Not too difficult, none of those levels, really. But next time we'll be checking out Diamond, and yeah... That one is uh, quite a lot harder, so it's probably going to be its own video. But, hope you enjoyed, hope it was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in some other level. Bye bye